In this video, we'll break down how to create this really cool text behind subject effect in Final Cut Pro. In order to create this effect, you're going to have to have the magnetic mask, which is only available in Final Cut Pro 11. So if you don't have that version of Final Cut, you're going to have to go ahead and update uh, Final Cut Pro. Now, before we continue on this video, if you're looking for some really cool plugins, presets, overlays for Final Cut Pro, go ahead and check out my website, WinkinsMedia.com. Without further ado, let's go ahead and continue on this video and show you to create this really cool effect. So here's a clip that we'll be using as the example this is just from one of my Instagram reels what you want to do is you want to select on this clip hold down the option key and just simply duplicate the clip and then what you want to do is you want to go to the bottom clip and you want to just mute the audio so we can go ahead and just take over here and just drag it down and that way the audio is completely muted or you can obviously select on the clip and go over to the audio and just mute it you only want the audio track to be on one that way you know the audio isn't like doubling and just doesn't it's just gonna sound really weird if you have two audio tracks playing uh, at the same time. Now we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select on this clip. We're going to head over here to the effects panel and we're going to scroll down until we find the category masks and keying. What we're going to do is we're going to apply the magnetic mask onto the top clip right here. Now we're going to use this tool to basically cut out the subject. So what you want to do is you want to just simply select on the subject. So go ahead and select on the subject and you want to just keep selecting it until you select the entire subject. Now we obviously don't want this part selected so let's head over here to the minus tool and go ahead and just go ahead and just minus this out so as you can see there we go and we go ahead and just keep adding more uh, points so there we go now you can zoom in to let's say like 400 percent or maybe let's do 200 percent for this example now you can go through and kind of just figure out if there's any other issues so we can go through and let's try the minus tool actually let's go to the minus brush right here and let's just decrease the slider and we'll go ahead and let's just remove like this part because we don't want this part being selected so as you can see this part's also selected so let's go ahead and just use the brush tool to minus this out so we can go ahead and let's just bring the slide up a little bit more so we can, so we're able to, we, we, we don't want this part being selected. So it's kind of just, as you see, we go ahead, it's very much a trial and error. You're just basically, you're telling Final Cut basically what you actually want to be tracked. Now I'm rushing a little bit just for the sake of the tutorial, but you want to go through and really refine it. Basically the, like the first selection is really important. If you do a really good first selection, Final Cut does an incredible job of tracking the subject. So you want to just go through and maybe we want to take this brush tool and kind of go around his go around my hair and something like that should look pretty good. Again, I'm going a little quick just for the sake of the tour, but you can see what I'm doing. And we can take the brush tool and we can go ahead and just select around uh, my ear. So a very much trial and error. I think for the sake of the tutorial, I think that looks pretty good. You can go through and really refine it. So basically you either have like the, the brush tool to either add more to the mask, subtract more to the mask, or you can use the point tools to add or subtract. So let's go back to fit. And as you see, I think that looks pretty good. Just for the sake of the tutorial, we'll just leave it how it is. So once you have the subject completely isolated, the, the selection, you know, you basically just have this subject isolated. What we're gonna do is head over here to click on analyze. And now what Final Cut's going to do is you can see it's going to completely um, track the subject. And obviously it's gonna the longer the longer the clip is, the longer it's going to take to actually track the subject. So you want to just wait a little bit uh, until Final Cut does its job and, and tracks the entire subject. Now you can go ahead and add text or whatever you want behind the subject. So we'll see, it's pretty much done and there we go. Now the subject is completely um, isolated. So wait for Final Cut to render and then click on done. And then as you can see, there we go. Now we can go ahead and select on here. We can hide the magnetic mask editor and now we can go ahead and just disable the bottom clip. And then as you can see, see now the subject is completely isolated. Now if you want to adjust a feather, you could select on this clip and adjust a feather. As you can see, it's not a perfect selection. I kind of rushed it. But again, just for the sake of the tutorial, it should look pretty good. And let's go ahead and just enable uh, the background clip. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add a text layer. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on Control T and that will create a new text layer. Now what you wanna do is you wanna basically figure out what you want to say first. So let's go ahead and just select on this clip or select in this text layer we'll go over here i'm going to go ahead and just double click right here and delete and let's say we want to say four and then we'll enable the cap locks 
four effects. So we want the first one to say four effects. And then we can go ahead and change the text. My One of my favorite texts is this um, Dirk, uh, this um, flat brush. I also like Dirk, uh, Dr uh, Dirk Wild. I also really like this one. But in my opinion, let's go ahead and, and click on uh, flat brush. So select it and then we can go ahead and enable or increase the size. Head over here, let's go to the safe zones because you want to make sure it kind of stays in those. You want to basically make sure it stays within those safe zones. Zones. And we'll go ahead and let's just um, enable the uh, adjust the position. So let's click on four effects. So we'll go ahead and kind of increase. So let's go ahead and bring it down here. And as you can see, it says four effects. So we go ahead and play the clip. As you can see, see look the text goes behind me. Now let's go ahead and we'll go, let's, go, let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Place a marker. Now let's duplicate this text and let's have it say something else. So go ahead and just trim this. So let's say four effects and let's bring it up just so we can kind of see what we're doing. And let's go ahead and type in four. So four. And now we can go ahead and just increase um, the size. So let's go ahead and drag this position down and get it kind of into the position you want. So let's say we want to make this want to make this one really big, and then go ahead and just drag this text layer below the subject. So as you can see, see so we go ahead and play it frame by frame. You can see you have the four effects pops up and then the the next one pops up so there you go now let's say you want to add um, another text layer so i'm going to go ahead and offset this again and go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and let's go ahead and place let's place, let's place the marker right here so click on done just give kind of, it's just a great way of keeping everything organized now holding down the option key let's go ahead and duplicate this text layer offset to the marker and then bring it up and then we'll say like final cut pro the abbreviation for final cut pro so fcp and then let's go ahead and bring it down into the place that we want so head over here to position and then there you go we can go ahead and click it something like this so there you go it says four effects for final cut pro we can disable the show horizon grid or the safe zones and let's go ahead and zoom out and see what it looks like. So let's go ahead and play the video. And as you can see, see there you go. Now you have like the text just kind of appearing behind the subject. Now if you want the sub, the text to go ahead and disappear, let's say we want uh, this text to end here. Let's go forward a little more. Let's say we want this text to end here. I'm just using the uh, trim tool. And then let's say we want this text to end here. It's obviously you know, your uh, personal preference. So now let's see what the, the final uh, result looks like. And there you go, you have the text going behind the subject, and now the text is just disappearing. So there you go, that's how you create that really cool text behind subject effect. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video, hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you enjoy these types of videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And again, if you're looking for some really cool Final Cut Pro editing assets, go ahead and check out my website, winkinsmedia.com. Link is down in the description below. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.